previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. It's how the world works now! We... are those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine? Clementine! No. No. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. We... I saw my parents. No. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. That don't mean it, Krista. What do you think? Oh, Mage, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because! Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omi Jr. No. You have to admit it has a ring to it. Yeah, the ring of an egotistical maniac. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Hello? How oh, gross.
please have water? Figures. I see you. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. Come on out now. What are you doing? Get out here. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. I ain't gonna ask again. I'm serious, what else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me, I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around, come on. I don't have anything. Give me that hat. No! Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. My dad gave it to me. Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo.
Krista, talk to me. will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. It's okay. I can wait. All we do is wait. And for what? You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire, so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... We need to find a group. People we can trust. We've been on our own for too long. Trust? You think you can trust someone out here? Not now. Not anymore. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold. Or so they say. We just need to keep moving north. I wish Omid was here. I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Still not enough. The flames are too low. This might burn.
lie to us. What do you think you're fooling? Give us the truth and you don't get hurt. Are you fucking with me? Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. It, it's just me. Come on, guys. She's not saying. You expect us to believe you're out here all alone? What the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! Krista, are you there?
It's okay, boy. It's okay. <coughs> Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. <coughs> What's he doing? Sam, where are you going? Wait up! Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. It looks like it's been here for a while. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. Hmm, nothing edible. Think anyone's been sleeping in here? I can't tell. Maybe we better not wait around to find out. Hey, wanna play? Wanna play catch? Get back! Good boy, Sam. <sighs> Empty. Better keep looking, huh, Sam? Not much of a tent anymore. I bet scavengers tore it apart. <coughs> What's the matter, Sam? <coughs> Shh, we have to be quiet. It's okay. He's dead. 
Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. But that never works. Ever. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. That looks like it hurt. Hey, it's okay, boy. Shh. He can't hurt us. Think he had himself tied up? Or did someone force him to do this? Stand back, okay? out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. Pretty sharp. At least we found something useful. We won't go another night without food, okay? Oh, God. Ugh. <coughs> I am so sick of that smell. No food here, either. go. Oh my god. Thank you. Look, Sam. A can. Let's see what's inside. Please don't be bad. I guess you're pretty hungry, too. Here you go. 
Hey, you don't need it all. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you alright? I... I think so.
What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. I don't want them thinking we're doing anything but trying to help you. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. And it's nice to meet you, Clementine. Now, for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? <laughs> no, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Hmm, all right. Let's see it. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Hmm. Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this. Now, what, what does that matter, Pete? Seriously. I want to know how believable her story is. I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You looked me in the eyes when you answered me. Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit. She was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not worried. <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not... I'm not working for anyone. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look.
It's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Then what? How would we know it worked? Just let Carlos have it. You're being ridiculous. I'm just a little girl. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. This is bullshit. Who's she? Sarah. What they say? Stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? To find my friend Krista. Forget it. You won't get five feet. Carlos, we've been through this before. We all agree. We don't wait for shit like this. End of story. <sighs> so, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. And we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's alright. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time, you'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the ship. It was a dog, you'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. this way, and I'd rather be sure. I can't believe this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine.
Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. It's getting worse. Makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in it? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. What are you doing? I... I need your help. Me? No. I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. Please. I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. Damn it, girl, go! I can tell that you're nice. I ain't nice. Yes, you are. Don't you do that. I see what you're doing. I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious. You gotta go. I got enough problems already. I got a baby on the way. Rebecca's all emotional. Got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. I don't need any more, get it? Now go! I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm already in trouble just talking to you. Sorry I bothered you. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I bought your damn arm. Wish I could help you, but... Try not to die.
yours. House meeting in five minutes. Best. Best position. It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Fine. has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. Be. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend and they got attacked. Whoever she is, the problem. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding.
supposed to be in here? Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurt. wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Okay. Ew, gross. I know, right? You have to bandage it like my dad does. Yeah, I know. Help me. I need something to clean it with. And I need a needle and thread to sew it up. Do you know where those things are? My dad has some stuff for cleaning with the supplies. Kind of burn. I don't know if he has stuff for sewing, though. Really? Seems like he would. We don't have much. He's still trying to restock since we moved. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super old. Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. Do you promise or not? All right, fine. I get it. I promise. Me too. Friends. A pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a gun. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Get out of here. That man from time. this baby. <laughs>
this is gonna suck. Fun part. No, just like last time, just how Krista showed me. Get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a babe. I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. 
Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn luck is sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, You'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs! Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else, that your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure, you are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stones. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look, I just want to say I'm sorry for, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway... Hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan?
I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. If you let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well, wow. I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He taught me how to shoot a gun. What uh, happened to him? I ran away. I was stupid. There was a man who said he knew my parents. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I ran away. And Lee died because of it. Maybe he would have died anyways. It was my fault. I just... Sometimes people die because of me. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. I'm a little girl. You know what the hell you're doing. We got enough problems, and we don't need any new shit. Get it? You got what you came here for. Now go. How you holding up?